Hi everybody, we are back. Um, like I said, I uh, when we first started setting up the routine lumbar spine, we want to show you guys other ways that you can do lumbar spines. We're going to do this patient on their side and show you guys how to set that up. So, let's uh, first we're going to have the patient lay on their side, and again, you're not going to have patients that are going to come in um, and just get on the table for you. Um, Perfect. There's going to be quite a few times where patients are not going to be able to lay flat on their back or their side. Yeah. So we're going to show you guys what to do on those. So and for, for her comfort, we're going to put a pillow between the knees. That way they're not resting on each other, causing uh, potential bruising. Uh, go ahead and scoot your hip forward just a little bit. Perfect. So that way we're closer to ISO center. And in this method, because she's laying on right lateral D cube on her side to get that signal, for her, for her lumbar spine, we're gonna place an 18 channel body coil right behind her. And if you guys remember back in the day uh, on the old Phillips, I worked on the old on the old Phillips machines where you would have that long, long uh, phase array coil, um, looked like a, a big belt strap. Um, we would lay it on the table and the patient would, would lay just flat on it. This is kind of almost the same idea, but now we're using a 18 channel phase array coil uh, so we're going to have plenty of signal, and we're going to put that right posterior to their back. It's a great, 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 uh, great thing to sh uh, that we're showing on this. So. Oh yeah, no, this is a wonderful technique. The um, and as Doug's, Doug has touched on before, it's important to make sure that the cable doesn't touch the patient directly, or coiled, or touching the board. Right. Also, we're going to place a pillow right behind her back in that 18 channel. So while she is in the magnet, she can lean back into it not move and put the coil in its proper placement. Right. Once we get everything positioned and how we want it, I'm gonna go ahead and add the headphones just for extra protection like I was talking to you about before on the timeout. And of course, the most important thing is the emergency ball because we want constant contact with the patient, especially patients that are in a lot of pain that can't hold still and that you have to do something like this, like thinking outside the voxel. So um, we're all set. So let's, uh, you doing okay? You're comfortable? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And again, we wanna make sure that, you know, their knees aren't gonna hit the uh, bore. I um, wanna make sure all the cables are out of the way. And again, before we start poking and prodding, we wanna just make sure and let the patient know that we're gonna be doing that to get our landmark, which is about two or three fingers above the crest. Right there, I'm gonna feel for the top of your hip. Right there, perfect. Lasers on. Awesome. And again, we don't want any skin to skin contact. We don't want that peripheral nerve stimulation. So um, again, guys, this is just another way to show you um, another way how to scan a lumbar spine. Stay tuned, we'll see you in just a few minutes. Hey everyone, we are back. We are scanning, like I said before, we're scanning our patient on their side. That's right, right lateral decubitus. Um, and as, yeah, as Doug mentioned before, patient, not every patient can lay flat on their back, supine. Um, if you can't, if you, you know, if you're not gonna go prone, you can lay them on their side. In this technique, we put an 18 channel coal directly behind the patient's back. And uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is so important. Or squeeze the ball. Thank you. A lot of patients that will come in won't be able to lay on their back. So what do you do? Cancel the exam? Mm -hmm. Or do you figure out thinking outside the voxel? Well, James and I are here to give you guys some resources or some extra tools that you guys can use for patients that aren't able to lay on their back. So um, super important. Uh, of course, we want to be safe. Uh, at all times. So, but what's cool about this is we get to try these things. So if there's anything that you guys want us to try or, um, or suggest, we are not the see all be all. So, um, please let us know we're here. This is all about education. Absolutely. In fact, it'd be a blast for Doug and I, if you have any, any suggestions, please put it in the comments. We're more than happy to try anything out Absolutely. that you suggest. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, we're learning each and every day. This is this is part of the fun of being being an MRI tech.
I learn something every day. And if I come to a epiphany that I know everything, that's the last day I'll scan an MRI. Because okay. I, I, 30 years and I still don't know everything. Mm -mm. Something I just wanted to show real quick, right here, we do have that, that 18 channel that's enabled behind the patient. And we also have the table supporting it as well. The phase direction was going head to foot, so we don't have to, we shouldn't have to worry about the breathing motion. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting, Doug, 20 seconds. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what this looks like. I've done these before. They usually turn out really well, but James and I did this on the fly. This, we're, we're not, this is not scripted, no. we're not, you know, we're doing this on the fly. This is all live, so. No. Uh, do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Um, can you imagine <laughs> if we had to script all this? Oh, no, we're, oh, we're not going to do that. No. So, again, you're going to see us make some mistakes and stuff like that, as long as it's not safety. Um, but, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't, wow. Look, it doesn't look bad, considering. It does not. You can see where the conus medullaris ends right there. Those are amazing. Yeah, you can see the cauda Isn't that amazing, amazing, everybody? I mean... Who would think they would look that? The detail is just is stupid. Wow. Yeah, we're on both sides. Very nice. Very nice, Doug. And again, just another way to do a lumbar spine. Um, it, that's what the beauty thing about MRI is. You can do things multiple ways and get the same outcome. Absolutely. So, yep. again, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, we had a blast. This was a blast. Can't wait to uh, do our, another episode. Stay tuned. Um, just want to say thank you to our sponsors, Armorant, Jim Coffin. Thank you so much. Radiology today. I also want to shout out a special thank you to Coursemen uh, for supporting us as well. And, uh, you know, please subscribe. After 10,000, like I was say, saying earlier, after 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and raffle out one of Boyd's comprehensive guide to MRI. So, um, again, the more subscribers we get, the more stuff that we're going to uh, give out to you guys uh, just to say thank you. So, absolutely. Uh, subscribe, everybody. There Have you. a good one. We appreciate it. Thank Take you. Take care. Thank you.